Hello there guys, my name is Comptage Plays and welcome to a very requested video on the channel. Now this video is actually quite simple. Um, it's how to download Minecraft worlds like stadiums, like any other map really, on Java Edition Minecraft. Now you need to know that Java Edition is the PC version. I don't know how to download worlds on phone, on any other edition of Minecraft apart from Java. So this is solely for Java edition. If you find this video useful, do hit that thumbs up and uh, do subscribe if you are new. Uh, we do live streams every day and it'd be great to see you there. So first step, you log on to your computer. Awesome, I, I cleaned up my desktop for you all. But this, you know, you got your desktop here, right? So uh, yabba dabba do, you know, it's all good. So what we're gonna do from now is we're simply just gonna load up Google. That's it, Google Chrome, whatever, ba bling ba bling, we're gonna load it up, okay? And uh, there's gonna be three links in the description. There's actually four, yeah. Uh, one link to the Minecraft Java website where you can download Java or buy Java edition of Minecraft. The second link is going to be to WinRAR where we will download and install that uh, so we can extract the files. And the third link will be to the stadium that I am going to be downloading or, or the world that I'm going to be downloading um, in this video if you do want to download that as well. Uh, so those three links will be there uh, just to give you a heads up. So, the first link that I will take you to is Minecraft, the Minecraft website. So, look, some of you may already, may not need to go to this link because you already have Java. But to the people that don't have Java and uh, are willing to pay for it, um, there's the first link in the description. You go to the Minecraft website, which I'm on right now, and all you do is click Get Minecraft. Get Minecraft, that's it, right? And it will give you... How do you want it to play? Computer, mobile, console, others. Obviously, we want to go computer, right? So computer, and then whatever you're on, PC or Mac, Linux, doesn't matter, it should be the same. So you click on, I'm on Windows 10, so I click on PC, and uh, you'll get two editions, Minecraft Java edition, and Minecraft Windows 10 edition. Uh, now, we want to have Minecraft Java edition, as it will let us download these worlds. So we'll click on Minecraft Java Edition and it will give you this link, buy it, $26. Um, I don't know what that is in other currencies. It cost me around £19 when I got it a few years ago, but they might have changed the price of it since then. But uh, this is where you would find Minecraft and download it if, you're, if you haven't got it already uh, for Java. But once we have done that, we're going to skip on to the second link. Now the second link is actually going to be WinRAR itself. If you don't know what WinRAR is, it's basically an application uh, that you'd install onto a computer that can extract files and that's exactly what we're going to do. You might have heard of WinRAR, it's a very popular extracting tool and um, it is free. It will ask you to pay if you know for if you'd like to donate to them or help them out but it's not necessary. I've never paid for it in my life and I've still got it so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to, the second download link uh, will take you to WinRAR and it will bring you to this page here. Now what you're going to want to do is obviously, well this is Windows platforms, but if you have any others then you can just go to the WinRAR website or you just download this link here. Um, and it should be compatible with other ones, but I have a Windows PC so that's what we're going to do. And uh, yeah, it will take you to this link anyway. Um, and it will ask you for the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Now if you are struggling to find out what bits you need to download, it's, it's actually very simple to find that out. And I figure like a lot of people don't actually know how to find this out. But if you are wondering what bit your PC is uh, or your computer is, all you need to do is go down to your search bar, type in system, all right? And it should come up with system information. You'll click on system information and you'll be brung up with this massive lump of juice. And um, you'll, you will have a lot of information here. But the one you want to look out for is system type. And as you can see, my system type is times 64. Now, PCs can vary, but that's how you'd find that out and which one to correctly download. So for me, I'm going to download the 64 bit. All right, so we're going to click on it and it's just going to gonna come with this. Okay, now it's going to say buy WinRAR. And then they'll below, it will say download WinRAR. All right, we don't want to buy it. And unless you do want to buy it, it will be all means go for it. But um, don't need to. Um, so you can just click down here. Download when you are okay now once you click that link it will automatically download Okay, you can just X that there 
and you'll see in the bottom left hand corner here because I'm on Chrome or it might be with something different on your browser it will download okay and it will normally send your download to the downloads folder okay so what we want to do is we want to open that downloads folder to do that you click this arrow here and go show in folder if you're on Chrome if you're not on Chrome what you want to do is open your file explorer okay normally it's down here but if it's not there type in file explorer it'll pop up here and you get all this bunch of maps now you'd want to click on this PC okay uh, just so you come up to this menu I don't know my space is literally um, I need I need to clear some space but just ignore that for now um, what you do is you, you can get the downloads there or, or on the left hand side here or you can click on solid state drive or whatever it is go to users click on your user and go on to downloads and you'll find it there so basically just access your downloads folder pretty simple so what you want to do from now is just simply run the program so you just double click it or or right click it to open okay it would ask you to do your administrator thing and then you can just go past that okay so once you're on here it will say this is a trial version anyone may use it during the test period of 40 days it normally lasts over 40 days it will just ask you to buy it and you just click the X so it doesn't force you to buy it so it's pretty cool uh, but it'll ask you for a destination folder and you'll simply uh, click install and it will install it it will come up with all this jazz normally I just press OK and done that's it you're done you've installed it brilliant awesome we can we can we can use it straight away okay awesome if, it, if there are any errors then search the internet i don't know there shouldn't be any errors but there you go okay so once that is done awesome you've done two steps already um getting minecraft java first of all and getting WinRAR. Two steps. Awesome. We're making great progress. Now, if you've recently acquired Minecraft, you'll probably have to, to run it for the first time so it can get all the folders set up and everything. And it's exactly what we want. So I've already launched Minecraft before, but for anybody who hasn't, then Minecraft should look like this. I've named it Minecraft Java because I also have Windows 10 right here. But um, I don't know why it's white it out but there you go but yes uh, you can just simply click on it um, it would also be in your downloads folder but um, it will ask you to log in just log in and it will bring you to this this um, this menu here okay uh, onto the Minecraft launcher and all you do is select the version you want um, so I'll just play on the Optifine version you may just play on the latest release which is fine doesn't matter um, and all you need to do is click play that's all you got to do, okay? So it'll load up, it'll prepare. It might download a few things first if you if you haven't done it before, but it it will load up, and then eventually it will be awesome. So we're just waiting for it to load up. So here we go. It's loading. Uh, it's exactly what we want to see. Mojang, obviously, uh, on version. I'm on version 1.14. Point four here, um, but yeah, Minecraft Java will load up, okay? And um, yeah, I mean, look, just click single player. Obviously, I've got no worlds just to prove that it isn't already pre-done and um yeah i mean look um i think you might have to create a world first just create a world just in case i have no idea to be honest but um just to be safe create a world and that kind of ensures that everything is working properly that the, uh, the saves folder has been set up um so we can pop the worlds where it needs to be all right so i'll just simply close the minecraft now or i'll back out and delete the world because i don't need it anymore but um yeah, just to make sure that that worlds folder is created uh, so we can pop the downloads in there. Okay, so once we've done that step and you've got Minecraft Java fully done, you know, you've got all, everything set up, all we want to do is pop back onto our Internet Explorer and get to finally downloading the world. <coughs> Did you just say Internet Explorer? SMH, SMH, SMH. So, I will have a video in the description in the third link to the stadium that I am going to download. Um, now look, it works with any Java world. It doesn't need to be my, the one I'm doing. It can literally be any, all right? Any, any world out there, okay, that has a save, you can do it. Um, but for, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to download a world from Pre-Effects Designs, okay? Obviously 25,000 subscribers, make sure to give them a sub. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to download... We'll do Old Trafford. We'll do Old Trafford. So I'll download Old Trafford. Obviously this is video playing. We'll go into the description and there will be a download link. There'll be the Nike one and the Adidas one. I'll download the Adidas one because it's the newest one. So I'll click that link and it'll take us to an AdFly website. Now don't click anything. Don't click anything. So in the top right hand corner of the website, after five seconds, you'll see something called skip ad. All right. All you want to do, 
click skip ad. Alright, now it will bring you to this. <laughs> you just got to keep pressing X because you don't really want it. Just keep pressing that X until you come to this and it will ask you to redirect. It normally does redirect it automatically, but in the case it doesn't, like it isn't now. Click the link and it will automatically take you to the file location, normally a media file or something similar. Alright, so... Here we go. This is the file we want, Old Trafford Adidas, and um, yeah, I'm just simply going to click download, and it will download. Just exit this window, all right? And um, as you can see down here, we have Old Trafford Adidas raw, and you can see that the image should be like WinRAR, um, just so we know we've correctly installed WinRAR. And again, what we want to do is to just go on to show within this folder, or go to your downloads folder. Again, you should know how to get there. And um, you'll have this old trafford.raw file here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this out to my, my desktop. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I just think it, it's cleaner for the video. So I'm going to bring it out to my, to my desktop, all right? So we've got the old trafford.raw file that we've downloaded. Now what we want to do now is the next step. Um, so we want to click on the old trafford.raw. Uh, we want to right click so it brings up this menu. And we want to do extract to Old Trafford Adidas, okay? Just click that. Or whatever yours may say if you're downloading a different stadium. But for the purpose of my video, it's Old Trafford Adidas. And it will bring you this file, okay? So we've now used WinRAR to extract the file. That's exactly what we wanted. So once we've done that, you will get this file. You can click into it. It will have this other Old Trafford folder in it and um, the, the save data of the world, okay? So we don't want to mess with any of that. We'll just leave that be. But what we do want to take... So once you've clicked into the file, we do want to take this old trafford here. So what we want to do, we want to copy it. Copy or cut. If you if you really want to cut it, cut it. Copy, doesn't matter, all right? We then want to uh, go to this PC, our C drive, and go to users, your user, and then it will take you to this menu, all right? Now what we want to do is we want to go to app data. There's a secret folder here called app data where the Minecraft saves um, files are stored and where we want to place our downloaded world into. Uh, so to access, how do we access that? Pretty easy. Uh, okay, all we need to do is uh, if we click view here. Okay, we click view, go to options, press view and tick show hidden files okay press apply press ok and now we've got the app data folder okay awesome there is another way all right so you can just click into that it'll bring you into the way into the thing all right there is another way i will just unhide this quickly um so we can i can show you the other way now there is another way of accessing that folder all we do is click at the top here and we want to do the backwards slash and just type in app data. Again, very simple stuff, okay? So it brings us to the exact same folder. Whoops. Um, and once we've done that, awesome, sweet. We're doing awesome. We're doing great so far. You're doing great, you're doing great. What we want to do from then onwards is click roaming. Roaming, and you'll have a file called .minecraft. Click into that, okay? Now you should, you, you, you probably won't have as many folders as I have here, but you'll have a folder called saves. If you don't have a folder called saves, simply right click, new folder, okay? And just make one called saves, lowercase saves. All right, I'm not gonna make that because I don't need it, but that's what you do, okay? And obviously click into the saves folder. It should be empty or you might have a few worlds in it if you have played it. And all you need to do, right click, paste. That's it. Simple, isn't it? It's easy, right? So just copy one file from a location to another. Bob's your, Bob's your uncle, you're done. Okay, now all you'd want to do, simply you've done the hard work. Now all you've got to do is launch the game. So we just go onto Minecraft Java, click into it, um, go onto whatever version you want to go onto, and then load up Minecraft. So once we've loaded into Minecraft Java Edition, you will know it's Java Edition because it's a Java Edition. Uh, you'd want to go to single player. Okay, just pop into single player. And as you can see, Old Trafford. The world is here. Brilliant. We're doing awesome. Click into it. It may ask you this if you're running on a higher version. It's fine. Just say, I know what I'm doing because I'm a beast. You do know what you do. You know what you're doing. And after a short wait, 100%, here we are. We're in the world. Look at that. Beautiful. We're at the Theatre of Dreams. We're Old Trafford. Awesome, awesome stuff. Wasn't 
hard at all and you can um, go around this world as you please you can uh, check everything out and you know it's not just Old Trafford, any other download works as well. And there you go, it's a cool view of Old Trafford. Just to show you that it works with another a world as well, other than the one I've just done. I guess there will be four links in the description. Um, I will show you another stadium, uh, another a one from a different YouTuber called The Holder. A very, very cool uh, Minecraft stadium builder as well. I just downloaded the, uh, the uh, Book of Jalil National Stadium. Um, I haven't actually downloaded this one before, so it'd be interesting to, ch to check it out. Okay, all we'll do, we'll extract it again to Bikit Jalil Stadium. It will do its thing and then it will be extracted right here. All right, we'll pop it right next to the RAR. We'll pop into that. Well, you don't, you can get the resource pack if you want to. That's a whole separate tutorial. We don't need the resource pack if there is one. Uh, of course, again, we'll have all this jazz we don't want to mess with. All right, we'll just copy this uh, and then take it all the way back to the app data. So again, C drive users whatever your user is and then i'll just type in app data all right but you can do it the other way as well app data go to roaming go to dot minecraft go to saves and paste it boom shakalaka easy all right we'll, we'll again load minecraft up so we can uh, double check that it's all working and it's there and it's everything's there what we everything's working perfectly i guess okay so we're in minecraft once again what we're going to do is go into single player and there it is the bucket jalil stadium all right awesome we've done it correctly just click into it all right so again for some stadiums or worlds it may say it. know what i'm doing or not and here we are we're at the stadium i think we are very high up here so we'll just want to drop down okay <laughs> just drop down Yes, we're very high up in the world here, but here we go. Here's the stadium. Okay, as you can see, the world has loaded in. Uh, it's trying to load in the render distance because it's blimming massive. Like, jeez, the stadium is massive. <laughs> but yes, just another. Oh, this is beautiful as well. Beautiful stadium. Uh, but just to show you, it works on another stadium and another world that I've tried as well. Okay, so it does work. Um, with multiple downloads there from different YouTubers from different you know worlds and just double check and tell you that it works so yeah I hope this uh, video has been very informative and it helps you uh, when coming to download stadiums on Java uh, please don't ask in the comments because I know there's probably gonna be a few people asking me how do you download worlds and stadiums or whatever on other editions of Minecraft look I have no idea. When it comes to PS4, Xbox One, uh, Windows 10 Edition, phone, look, I have no idea. I don't know if it's possible. Probably is in a complicated way. If you're interested in that, then there's probably other videos on YouTube. This is strictly for Java version, okay? So I hope it's helped uh, everybody that's wanted to download a stadium. And um, yeah, look, once you do it once, it's easy. You'll know what to do. You'll know what you're doing. It becomes an easy thing to do. You'll do it in two seconds. Literally, that's all it takes. So don't worry about it if you are a little confused at first. You know, I was back in the day. So yeah, it is pretty easy, okay? And I don't want to make this too complicated. Um, but yeah, if this has helped, uh, again, um, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and like. And um, yeah, um, again, I do live streams, obviously, every day, apart from Saturday. And um, I hope to see you guys there. But other than that, it's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Punish Players. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.